Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I am going to talk to you about the pumpkin apple, I almost said mini, the pumpkin apple travel size fine fragrance mist. So before I get into it, I wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old, all of my viewers, new and old. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of reviews on Bath & Body Works. I do a lot of Bath & Body Works stuff, and you know, there's other things sprinkled in there. But I just, you know, wanted to kind of share that with everyone that's new. And I'd love it if you liked and subscribed on my channel. So how do I feel about this fragrance? I feel like I'm not ready for fall yet. It is 106 degrees today. It's going to be in the hundreds the rest of the week here where I live. I really, really, really want it to be fall, but it's not. I'm seeing all these people do their transitions and their transition sets and their, and you know, and their project use it ups, adding so much fall stuff. I'm still working on some of my summer stuff that was from my project use it up. And I am going to be changing my project use it up at the end of the month. I'm making like a whole overhaul type of deal. So I'll kind of explain that when I get there. But this made me want winter more, but it also didn't. It's just kind of funny. I mix this one with winter candy apple. I was going to use the coconut candy apple, but I'm saving that because I still have coconut candy apple. I wanted to use it with, I'm over here dropping stuff. So that might be something I try later in the week. I don't know. It is a nice fragrance. It has a sweet candied apple, at least in my opinion, pumpkin spice and a little extra spiciness but I felt like I smelled like a Michael's store when I start rolling out the holiday stuff. That when you first walk in there, that kind of cinnamony smell that hits you when they have those little cinnamon pine cone things going on, it made me think if that was a little bit of apple mixed in. And I was actually really surprised. This might be interesting to try with the cinnamon pumpkin donut or a cinnamon donut thing. Where'd it go? the cinnamon donut swirl since this is supposed to have cinnamon and it doesn't really have a lot of cinnamon so that is an option but overall it lasted and i thought it smelled nice but it didn't smell nice right now for the season that i'm kind of sitting in here i live in nevada i live in the de in the high desert it's hot and it's dry it, i wasn't really ready for it um it was funny because i felt like i smelled like a michael's store I walked up to my husband, I put my arm in his face and he smelled me and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then as I walked away, the silage caught him and he was like, yes, you smell, you smell like a Michael's store. And I'm like, I told you so. So the silage on this one, it just, it's there. It's definitely stayed. Um, I wouldn't mind buying another one since I'm probably about a quarter of the way through this one. And it's not very big, but I want to wait until closer to the holidays. You know, this makes me think of like Halloween and the way I wish it was for me. I wish like I could be in a place where it's fun and exciting, like in the Hocus Pocus movie where the leaves turn yellow and everything else. There are trees out here, but they just like, they just fall off. They don't always turn yellow. Um, and there's some cactuses and, and interesting animals. Overall, this one is okay. Um, I've only ever seen the hand cream in the in the like miniatures, the little hand creams for these. I have not yet seen the, like any kind of lotion or body gel watch now or shower gel. Now they're gonna put it out now that I said that, but it would be nice to have those to go with this so I can use it as a full set. But it, it mixed okay with winter candy apple, which I believe is supposed to have some kind of holiday cinnamon in there. I don't have the notes off the top of my head for it, but I use these just with a, um, I believe I'm using the cocoa butter and the suave cocoa butter and shea shower or body wash right now. And these are actually really incredible body washes compared to Bath and Body Works shower gels and body washes. And they are like two bucks at the store. They You can't beat the price on these and they last you a while. They smell incredible. They're very strong and they lather really good too. But I think that is all I have for this one. I mean, I wasn't disappointed. I was kind of annoyed because... It's been like in the hundreds here and I want to use some of my fall stuff, but I'm just, the weather is saying not yet. So I'm going to try a couple of um, transition to fall kind of fragrances. Um, I'm trying to remember the name. Her name is Shaughnessy. 
Simply Shaughnessy, I think. Uh, she did a video on transition scents for, fra for fragrances. She did a video on transition fragrances for fall. And there's a couple that I pulled out of my, you know, out of my collection and put out. And I'm going to be trying a bunch of different stuff coming up soon. So hopefully that'll help me because I'm not ready for this yet. But I wouldn't mind like beach nights or open sky or something like that right now. Um, now that I've rambled a whole bunch about the fragrance, I wish I had the fragrance notes, but I don't have them on the back of those. I think that's everything for this video. So if you like that, that cinnamon-esque apple, cinnamon, apple-y, pumpkin-y thing going on, and you like, you know, the candles and things like that, I would definitely suggest trying it in the body care that they do have. It is nice. And I thought about using the body, the hand cream as a body cream, but I'd rather use it as a hand cream. <laughs> that's just me. But I think that's all I have for this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.